hello everyone welcome to my channel I'm gonna come back real quick with a foundation uh, first impressions and this is my first impressions because this is gonna be on the fit me okay and this is gonna be on the um, fit me matte poreless and we're also gonna uh, set that with the fit me matte poreless um, foundation here I mean powder excuse me powder now these are both the same shades okay there is um, excuse me 330 and this one says toffee caramel okay now the last time I came with you uh, came at you it was uh, the same number 330 but this one just says and this is the dewy smooth okay Maybelline dewy smooth and this one is 330 but this one is just says toffee okay it just says toffee this one says toffee caramel they both look very similar okay there's no difference really too much in the colors but anyway I was looking for the matte found uh, poreless and I found it and we're gonna do a review I already did my um mascara my eyes and everything my eyebrows I am going to use a Real Techniques face brush here to apply this. And I'm going to also do my under eyes with this, uh, my physician's formula. I'm not going to use the yellow part this time. I am going to use the tan part. No particular reason. I have not primed my face. I just put some moisturizer on there, let it set for about 30 minutes, and now I'm applying this to see its true form. I am going to use a flat brush, the e.l.f., to put this in. Spread it out, pack it in under my eyes. And I'm not doing anything in particular today. I am just cleaning, so doing some cleaning. I'm not going to lie, some cleaning. And I decide this would be the best time to try out this uh, poreless matte poreless foundation because I'm going to come back to you guys in about eight hours seven or eight hours and I'm going to show you the finished look and see how it holds up now I'm going to use the Ben Nye banana powder to set this under eye concealer I'm going to use my same brush here and it usually works really good so that's why I'm using it. I have combination skin where I get oily in my T zone, and that's about it. But it's a problem, it's still a problem when you don't have the right makeup and everything. And um, this right here um, is normal to oily skin. And um, yeah, we're going to try it out. I'm going to flick some of that powder off. Okay. Okay, and we are going to pour some on my hand. That much. That should be enough. Take my real techniques and dab it. Get my mirror here, friendly mirror. See what I'm doing. Gonna rub it in. Buff it in.
looks a little dark. Rub that on my forehead. Make sure I get every drop. There it is there. Let me give you a close-up. There. It's starting to mattify. Can you see that? The coverage, I would say, would be uh, light to medium. You could probably put some more on and build it up, but I don't want to do that. I'm just doing this. Got my headband on. You know me. Love me a headband. So now I don't know. It's I, it. It looks nice, but it's not that mattifying. But anyway, maybe because of the moisturizer I put on. Who knows? But anyway. We're going to go with the uh, powder and set that. And I'm going to use the same brush because I don't want to be cleaning a lot of brushes. And I am uh, being generous on the um, powder. I'm just going to finish it off with some lipstick. And this is the CoverGirl lipstick in um, the number 420. And this is what I had got in my um, Walmart beauty box. Uh, this was the, not the winter, but the spring. I mean the fall, the fall box. And you can see I've, I've been using it. Oh yeah, I like it. We're going to back up. And I'll see you in seven or eight hours. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone, I'm back. And I'm back a lot sooner than I expected. Um, and the reason for that is because I noticed that um, I'm going to do a close-up. This uh, foundation, hopefully you guys can see it, is it's, I need to uh, blot, you can see I'm getting oily. Now, I forgot to tell you, let me show you the time. The time is 6.37 p.m. And we started, I forgot to note the time, was 1.30 p.m. I was hoping to come back at around 7.30, 8.30 p.m. But uh, it's, 
it doesn't matter because the reason why is because I already see like on the side uh, here you may not can see it but I can see it where it's just breaking up okay it's breaking up all around here my mouth area if you can see it you can see the spots all on my face coming through okay because in right here you see the discoloration it's just breaking up okay I have makeup like right here and then I got this open spot right here and then uh, it's 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 fading away and this right here is the uh, the poreless the matte poreless and uh, I also use the powder and um, I'm not really feeling it too much ladies um, will I take it back I usually don't like to return stuff okay so I'm going to I don't know I don't know because I'm getting all this makeup and it's not working the way I want to and I'm just gonna start getting my money back so I don't know I may mix it now I did one on the Dewey I was showing you uh, me applying the Dewey Smooth and I actually went to work and I came back and I actually I needed to blot but it just it didn't break up like this it wasn't breaking up like this it was just fine like nothing happened but this right here uh, let's see this is only like five hours later so hmm mm, nah okay I'm aware if I pay for it but um, I'm gonna have to uh, well I didn't apply a primer maybe that would have helped you know but I mean if it's matte and it poreless you know I really shouldn't have to but you know let's see okay I'm gonna back the camera up okay and um, you can see yeah the light is shining on me but I still need to blot so that was I blotted at four a little after four about two hours ago and I still need to blot again so that's my take on this matte poreless uh, on this excuse me this Maybelline fit matte poreless foundation 330 which is uh, toffee caramel and uh, the um, same as the um, matte uh, the Maybelline fit me uh, poreless matte powder in 330 same numbers and um, that's the take on it ladies and um, yeah I'm breaking up here so hope you like this review I hope it's informative okay uh, I noticed that this foundation works better for some than others and it's not working as well for me but at least I got the experience to know that and maybe I can work something better with it. Next time I'll use a primer and we'll see how that goes. If not, then I'll probably take it back and get my money back. Bye. Don't forget to thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. And if you sub me, I will sub you back. Bye and stay blessed.